Natalie. And I'm Tyler. So how has your week been? Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. It's a fantastic day. I'm so glad it's Valentine's Day. Cupid's arrow may puncture your wallet. The National Retail Federation says Americans will spend a total of $18.2 billion this Valentine's Day. That's a lot of chocolate. Mary Maloney breaks down the Valentine spending in today's Consumer Watch. Love is in the air. The National Retail Federation says people plan to spend about 85 bucks on gifts for their sweethearts. Kids and parents will also feel the love, getting roughly $27 worth of stuff. Most plan to allocate around $7 for teachers and friends. And man's best friend will get a little something to the tune of about $4. Retailers must love Valentine's Day. Average jewelry sales could hit $4.3 billion. $2 billion is expected to go for flowers. One 1.7 billion on candy and 1 billion may be spent on those lovey-dovey cards. If you're looking to settle down with a special someone, you may want to consider their bank account. At least that's what people told SunTrust Bank. More people value financial stability than even education, hobbies, you know, physical fitness, even looks. It was very surprising to us. Whether you get your Valentine cash or chocolate, this holiday is going to be sweet. For Consumer Watch, I'm Mary Maloney. Sunday night's Grammy Awards was filled with amazing performances and memorable moments. But in the end, it came down to just two superstars. David Daniel has the story. Adele kicked off the 59th Grammy Awards with a stirring performance of her monster hit, Hello. An hour later, Beyonce, pregnant with twins, wowed the crowd with a jaw-dropping nine-minute medley celebrating motherhood. Then Adele returned, paying tribute to the late George Michael, literally stopping the show when her first stab at the song wasn't just right. Can we please start it again? I'm sorry, I can't mess this up for you. When it came to trophies, Beyonce, who led the nominations with nine, won just two Grammys, while Adele led the way with five, sweeping record, song, and album of the year, though she all but gave her album trophy to Beyonce. But I can't possibly accept this award. The Lemonade album was just so monumental, Beyonce. It was so monumental and so well thought out and so beautiful and soul-bearing, and we all got to see another side to you that you don't always let us see. From one mother to another, a Grammy love fest to remember. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. So what did you think about Adele and Beyonce? Um, I really liked Adele, but Beyonce, and eh, a lot of repetitive songs in her album. Yeah. Now let's look at the weather. Here's Chris Brown. Thanks, guys. Today will be cloudy with highs in the upper 50s and lows in the upper 30s. Possible showers during the rest of the week. Friday will be warmer and sunny with highs close to the 70 degrees. Chance of rain again on Saturday. Back to you guys. Thanks, Chris. Well, that's it for today at Chattanooga State. Be sure to check us online and on the wall TV in the amphitheater. Happy Valentine's Day.